guys. So this, we're gonna start with the shoulder muscles in the back. First thing you need to do is get the trapezius off. So that's what this side is showing. This one still has trapezius on. However, be careful because when you cut your trapezius, sometimes you'll cut your levator scapulae. So this little guy here that goes from underneath the trapezius down to the scapula and then up to the neck is your levator scapulae. On this side, we've taken the trapezius off. So now we can see the deeper muscles underneath. This is the scapula, and this ridge of bone right here is the spine of the scapula. So if you're above the ridge of the bone, above the spine, you're gonna be the supraspinatus muscle here. And if you're below this spine of the scapula, you're gonna be the infraspinatus muscle down here. The only other option is going under the scapula. So if I pick the leg up and go like this, the muscle that's on the underside or below the scapula will be the subscapularis muscle. Moving down the arm, uh, there's a couple muscles you can see from the back of the arm. The back back of the arm, this big huge muscle here is going to be your triceps brachii. This one here in the middle is going to be the uh, brachialis muscle and then we have to flip it over actually to see the bicep muscle. So you can still see tricep, we can't see the brachialis now and if we get the pecto brachialis out of the way and the trapezius a little bit, you can see this is the bicep here. So the bicep is this little one, the tricep is this larger one, and on the back side this is the brachialis muscle. I'll just stand this since we're already here. This muscle that kind of hangs out by himself is going to be your brachioradialis. That should make sense. It's going from the brachial part of the arm to the thumb side. This is the thumb side. So remember, Kitty's thumb is closer to his head. The bone that's on the uh, thumb side is going to be your radius. The bone that's on the pinky side is going to be the ulna. So this is your brachioradialis. The next one I always look for is the fat one in the middle. This fat one in the middle is going to be your palmaris longus. So if you look for the fat one, this is going to be your border between your flexor carpi radialis and your flexor carpi on theirs. There's a couple muscles in here you guys don't need to know. Um, so for now, I'm just going to kind of lump them together. And we're going to call this group of muscles the flexor carpi radialis muscles. Because remember, when you're flexing the wrist, you're pulling it in like this. So this is a flexor carpi radialis. Again, the brachial radialis, the palmaris longus. And now this guy over here is going to be your flexor carpi ulnaris. Flip it over. We can still see the brachioradialis muscle here, so don't get confused just because you can see it from both sides. The chunk of muscle right here next to him, going again to the thumb side, we're on thumb side still, is going to be extensor carpi radialis. There's two extensor digitorums on the back side, not just one like there is in the front side. And then there's an extensor carpi ulnaris. And that's it. Okay, so we're starting off on the upper arm, we're starting the shoulder, guys. So the shoulder muscle, this large shoulder muscle here, is going to be your deltoid muscle. And we actually need to remove that to see the rest of the shoulder muscle pretty well. This bone is the scapula. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> this ridge of the bone is the spine of the scapula. So if we're above the spine, this would be our supraspinatus muscle. Whereas if we're below the spine of the scapula, this could be the infraspinatus muscle. The other one that's pretty obvious is if you turn the scapula over and go on the underside, this is going to be your subscapularis on the underside here. The only two that are up in the shoulder other than that are these two guys here. Uh, they're going to be the teres muscles. And if you put the deltoid back on, it makes sense why they're named the way that they are. If I can get the deltoid to go back on. So we have this guy and this guy. The smaller one is going to be your teres minor, whereas the larger one will be teres major. But if the deltoids back off, remember that the teres major is lower and the teres minor is a little bit higher. Moving down the arm, the front of your arm, when you flex your arm like this, this one's going to be your biceps brachii. It has two branches, so it's called a bicep. Bi means two. Whereas on the back, you have three muscles that form the triceps brachii in the back. So the triceps brachii is the back, biceps the front, and the guy hiding in the middle is going to be your brachialis muscle. Moving down into the forearm, this first muscle here that goes from the brachial part of your arm and wraps around and goes to your thumb, thumb, is going to be your brachioradialis. Because remember, the, bo the bone that's on the thumb side is the radius. The bone that's on pinky size would be the ulna. So these ones are going to be radialis muscles, these are going to be ulnaris muscles. So brachioradialis is here. We just keep going in this direction. These two muscles have different names, but you just have to know them as a group. If you're on the back side of the arm, so the back of your hand, these are all going to be extensors, whereas if you're looking on the palm side, these are all going to be flexors. So these two guys here are going to be extensor carpi radialis, because they're on the back of the arm, back of the hand, and they go to the thumb. The one in the middle, if you follow the tendons that go down, go down to the fingers. So these are going to be the extensor digitorum muscle here. And then over here, the ones that go to the pinky are going to be extensor carpi ulnaris. Remember, you're on the back side, so it's still an extensor, but now going to the pinky, so it's going to be ulnaris side. So extensor carpi ulnaris. Don't forget the carpi, because that's for wrist. We flip it over. Now we're on flexor side. So this is going to be our flexor carpi ulnaris, because when it's going to the pinky, so it's going to be a flexor. It's a carpi with our wrist, and ulnaris is going to pinky side. Over here, we're going to have the flexor carpi radialis because it's flexing, but it's going to the thumb now. And in the middle, you have two options. So the superficial muscle that sits on the top that turns into a very skinny tendon here and goes to the palm. 
to be your palmaris longus, and then underneath that, you can see it on both sides of the palmaris longus, are going to be your flexor digitorums. And that is it. So just in case he's on the practical, there's a couple muscles you can see on our torsos. This uh, upper shoulder muscle is going to be your deltoid. The back of his arm is seeing a little bit of a piece of tricep here. You spin him around, you can see a little bit of bicep right there. And that's about it. And now on the back, um, remember this is the spine of the scapula you can see a little bit of. So this would be your infraspinatus. You can't see the supraspinatus because it's underneath your trapezius. You have to actually get this out of the way. But infraspinatus is here. You can also see teres minor, which is this little guy in the corner, and teres major, which is here. That's it for this torso. Mm -hmm. Video for Mini Man. So here we go. Deltoid is here. Infraspinatus is here. Terry's minor is there. Terry's major is here. This would be the triceps brachii on the back. Whereas if we go on the front, there's the bicep brachii here, and then there's the brachialis in the middle. We have brachioradialis spinning around and going down to his thumb. We then have extensors. So we have our extensor carpi radialis here, extensor digitorum, if you follow the tendons, they go to the digits, extensor digitorum is there, extensor carpi ulnaris is going to be going to the pinky. We look on this side now, well, his arm doesn't really work so fabulously. All right, so we still have brachioradialis here, but now on the inside, we have a muscle here that's going to be a flexor, flexor carpi radialis, because it's going to the, pink, uh, the thumb. We have palmaris longus, the superficial one that goes to the palm. Deep to that is going to be your flexor digitorum, so that little piece of muscle you can barely see between them. And then over here you're going to have flexor carpi ulnaris. The only one that I missed, if we actually take this off, you have your subscapularis muscle here because remember this is the scapula. Now we have the deltoid, we can take the deltoid off. Supraspinatus, because it's above the spine. Infraspinatus is here. Teres minor is here. Teres major is here. And again, subscapularis is under here. That's it for this guy. <laughs> All right, so the only other one that there is is going to be the levator scapula, which is going to be this guy here that basically connects your, your skull, probably your mastoid or your temporal bone, down to your scapula. So levator scapula is that guy. Last torso. Again, deltoid is here. Teres minor is here. Teres major is here. This is going to be your tricep in the back. Um, and this guy, and I forgot to mention him on that guy, you also have your levator scapula. So this is your levator scapula here. Um, on this side, you can see the supraspinatus here, infraspinatus is here, teres minor, teres major, triceps brachii here. You can see a little bit of brachialis muscle here, and then you can see biceps brachii here. And then I want to show you the little bit of scapula over here.